live after the uh, Donna Stevenson fight, uh, Zuhatsky. Let's listen, y'all. Fight over with. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is still a champion of Donna's Superman Stevenson. Don Stevenson just uh, knocked out Demetrius Zohatsky in the uh, fifth round in his uh, hometown, Quebec City, which is Canada. And now they're throwing like, you know, uh, conf confetti in the ring for his celebration win. Let's go to Jim Gray. Let's listen to the post fight interview, y'all. Adonis, congratulations to you. you. Hey, this is my second time, first time. So I give a beautiful knockout for showtime, baby. <laughs> hey, first Adonis of all, Adonis Superman. Sam Watson, Al Amen. I want to thank Sugar Hill, my trainer, and Tiger Paul. And all my team, I want to thank again, I want to thank all my fans, baby. Adonis, you knocked him down four times. It was a slow start, however, because he was, you know, back on his heels, such a defensive fighter. Was it difficult to find a rhythm in this fight? But, you know, uh, I just, uh, I, I just uh, use uh, my speed, movement. I know uh, I got a power. I know I got a power. The, the knuckles going to come, so... I want to force the, the knockout. I know that my trainer you tell me that too. So let's take it's a, boxing. Let's take a look at the end of your fight with that power that you're talking about and tell us right here this shot. Yeah. You just uh, I just uh could could to punch him. I just wait on him and bang. <laughs> I catch him and I fit with the with the hook because I want to put my my left hand Fifth round knockout y'all. So now, what's going on with you? Uh, 2013, you're the fighter. The year 2014 didn't turn out the way you thought it would. You wanted to fight Bernard Hopkins, perhaps Pascal. Uh, now you become the mandatory challenger for Kovalev. What will happen with Adonis now? You have to come to me. I'm the big champion. You have to come to me. Because I'm the ring magazine. I'm big the man. I'm the man on the diagonal. So, they have to come to me. Do you believe that the promotional problems of the past can be worked out and that you can fight Kovalev? You know what? Uh, I'll let Al Amen and Goofy for Michelle uh, take care of that. Me, my job, go in the ring, not everybody out. Yes, but at 37 years of age, it's not going to get easier as time passes. So wouldn't you like to have these big fights now? It's not, it's not a matter. Look at my shit. I'm a superman. <laughs> All right, Adonis, congratulations. And I want to thank all my friends, and you can follow me on Twitter, Adonis, <laughs> on Instagram, Facebook. That's right. Twitter, baby. Peace, and Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year! Thank you. And plug yourself on your Twitter, right, your Instagram, your Facebook, you. all that. All right, Jim, thank you very much. A very happy Adonis Stevenson. All right, I'm done with that. Um, He fought a guy by the name of, I told y'all before, Dimitri, Dimitri, uh, Zuhatsky, I think that's his name. I don't. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing it right. But uh, I ain't know nothing about this guy. I almost damn near forgot the fight was on. And I thought the fight came on tomorrow. But good thing I caught it in time. Um, like I said, they fighting in his hometown, Quebec City, and um, it was a kind of a a dull, kind of a, a boring fight to be honest with you. Like I said, I ain't know nothing about this guy. This guy came into the ring with a record of uh, 22, two with 16 knockouts. Yeah, you know. A pretty okay record. It wasn't too bad. Um, but he was, I guess, the top um, contender for his belt. So he gave him a shot. And, you know, uh, Donna Stevenson knocked him out in the fifth round. Um, this guy, I think this guy was from, uh, like, Russia or something like that. I think he was from Russia. Anyway, this guy was, you know, pretty much awkward. He had no footwork when he got hurt. He didn't know how to hold. And it was kind of a slow start, you know, for Stevenson. Stevenson normally starts off fast. It was kind of a slow start. Um, I guess he just wanted to fill a guy out to see what he had. Which is nothing wrong with that. You know, flashing the jab upstairs, downstairs. It's flashing it. You know, pivot left, pivot right. And Stevenson don't have the fastest footwork. But, you know, he was able to, you know, pivot left. You know, walk this way and turn around and walk this way. Against a guy who was always off balance. And uh, Zuhatsky. 
He was always off balance. Every time he got hit with a shot to the chin or a shot to the chest, he always got pushed back. Then he come walking back like every single time. And, um, I mean, what'd you expect, man? Don Stevens now 25 0 with 21 knockouts. Um, here's the WBC Ring Magazine, uh, light heavyweight champion. Uh, y'all see the background, man. Um, what else is it to say, man? I mean, I guess he just waits on the winner of Kovalev and uh, Pascal, to be honest. This is December, Kovalev and Pascal fight in, uh, I think, March. If I'm not mistaken, so I'm, I'm guessing he's going to wait for the winner of that. And I'm pretty sure the winner is going to be Kovalev. If you match two of these styles up, I think Kovalev can get the job done. And uh, we, we might have, uh, you know, Kovalev and uh, Donna Stevenson, hopefully, in like the... Um, in like the fall of uh, next year, the fall, yeah, the fall. Depending on how, um, if uh, Kovalev gets, you know, cut or hurt or anything like that. If he don't, then we could possibly see it in like maybe July-ish, somewhere around there. But if not, it'll probably be in the fall. So I mean, that's the only guy I can sit out there for Donald Stevenson to fight. Um, I mean, he could have like, fight Bernard, but Bernard about to be on his way out, man. Um, I don't know, man. I guess. I don't know. It's Donald Stevenson won. Y'all hit me up with any questions, comments. I don't even know what else to say about this fight, man. I mean, it ain't much to say. I mean, Stevenson, you know, basically was doing the same thing over and over again, countering a straight left over this guy's jab. Like, every single time, I'm like, yo, you use your brain and think you would know he's doing the same thing over and over again. And, like, Paulie Malinaji was saying, like, yo, a lot of fighters don't think and they don't they don't think and they don't use like tricks to trick the fighter. Like it goes from like basketball, not basketball, but football, and you know boxing. Like trick, the, like trick your opponent, trick your um the person that you're against. Like don't keep falling for the same you know bullshit every time. That's what a uh, whatever the fuck Zuhatsky kept falling for every time. He'll come in here, lane way back here. Then he would jab and then uh, Stevenson would counter a uh, straight left over there. Like five, six times in a row, and I'm like, yo, you know he's doing the same thing. Throw a jab, and then when he um throw a straight left, roll it with your shoulder, and you counter back with a uh, right hand. Like Paulie Manoji kept saying that this guy just wouldn't do it, man. This guy was just off balance, and he shouldn't have been in the same ring with um Adon Stevens. Oh yeah, I just found out, man. This guy worked at uh, Ernie Terrell died, man. That's very sad. I was saying by the fact that Ernie Terrell died, it's damn. Until Ernest Rowe was born in 1939, he died today. I don't know what he died of, but I'll probably do a separate video letting y'all know what he died of. So, um, yeah, man, Ernest Rowe dead. I mean, he died today, man. Very sad. Um, Ken Norton gone. Uh, uh, Ernest Rowe gone. Joe Frazier gone. Muhammad Ali is still here. Um, sad, man. Everybody leaving. Ernest Rowe was probably, I don't know, 75, 76, something like that. So he died today, man. Um, my love and condolences, you know, go to um, go out to Ernie Terrell and his family. But yeah, man, um, Ernie Terrell died. Adonis Stevenson won. Y'all hit me up with any questions, comments. Adonis Superman. Y'all holler at me, I'm out, alright? Peace.